Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a certified Dubsada specialist, and today I'm going to take you through the basics of Dubsada. I know there's a lot of people out there interested in using Dubsada, or they've signed up for a free trial, and they're not exactly sure how to set it up. So today I'm going to take you through the basic features that Dubsado has, and how you can set it up quickly to start using it and make the most of it. So this is Dubsado's dashboard. This is the first thing that you're going to see when you log in. Um, and there's certain things up here. Let's go through them. So it's the financial goals is the first thing you're going to see. So if you do set a financial goal, let's say you want to make $2,000 a month, it will tell you how much you've made so far and compare it. So it'll say you've made 1500 here and it'll say out of 2000 Open invoices are exactly that. What invoices haven't been completed yet for projects that are still open. Um, and it'll give you a total of everything that's... Uh, that needs to come in or is due at some point, no matter when that is. Revenue indicator will compare your revenue for the last 30 days with the previous 30 days. So it'll tell you if you've gone up or down and what percentage. And here are some notifications. So what invoices are overdue, how many, how many contracts need counter signatures, how many workflow actions need approval. So depending on how you set up your workflows in Dubsado, you can set them so that certain tasks don't happen without your approval. Um, if you have your calendar connected to Dubsado, you'll see all of your, you know, you can have a weekly or monthly view of what, you know, appointments and things are up in your calendar. So to start setting up Dubsado, the first thing you have to do is go here in settings. And um, here you can customize Dubsado to your brand. So you can upload your logo, you can change your colors, you know, do whatever, whatever color that is for your brand. You can set up your business name, your business email, uh, phone number, like what your address is for your business. And you can decide, are your emails going to come out with your name or your business's name? And that's up to you. Next is your dashboard. You can turn those financial indicators, the very first thing we talked about here. Um, and you can change the color of the dashboard as well. Here is the portal setting. So Dubsado offers you a client portal. You don't have to use it depending on your business. It may make sense for you, but it's a place where your clients can log in with an email and a password, and they can see everything that has to do with their project inside of Dubsado. So they would see their invoice, um, their tasks that are due, uh, emails, uh, forms, contracts, all of these different things will show up there for them. And here you can customize what that screen is going to look like. You can upload a portal for um, desktop or mobile. You can add your logo as well. Again, you can customize to your brand colors. Here you can set your portal link. So you can give this um, link to clients and they can sign in and uh, access their portal. You can also embed your portal into your website if that makes sense for you. Multi-user, so if you have several people that are using Dubsado, this is where you would do that. This is where you would add them and invite them. So depending on how many people are on your team, um, that pricing of Dubsado will change depending on how many people you add. International settings, here you can change your time zone, um, you can change if you don't want the dollar sign to appear, you want to put like EUR for euros, you can put that here for the currency. So here, let's, so it will do that. But you can also just delete it and just it'll use the dollar sign. So to receive money, um, Dubsado does connect to payment processors. So you have to set whatever country, I'm in Canada, currency to receive, Canadian dollars, save. So now it's going to show me these different options. So you can connect with Stripe or Square. It's not Stripe and Square. It's Stripe or Square. And you can add PayPal. So the combinations are Stripe and PayPal or Square and PayPal. You can't use all three. I personally use Stripe. So that allows my clients to pay with a credit card. Uh, Dubsado does not charge a fee. It's Stripe that's charging the processing fee here. And for invoices, you can change the two. So if you want to bill the client's company or the client's name, you change or both. And here you can edit terms, which is pretty cool. Like for instance, I'm in Canada, so um, I can do, like people can send me 
money through email. So if I wanted to say like pay me through electronic uh, fund transfer, uh, they just, you know, I put here, you can pay me by EFT, use this email address. And as long as they see that, then they can send me a payment that way. I would have to manually add it into Dipsado, but that saves me a processing fee. So that's an option that you have there. Uh, tax column, depending on where you are, um, you know, you, you need it or you don't need it. Um, emails, so you can connect with Google. I have mine connected to my Google Workspace. So what happens is that I can send emails to my clients through Dubsado and it will look like I'm sending them from my, uh, my Google Workspace email, right? So um, your business email. And when clients respond, I see it inside of Dubsado and I also get it separately in my and my Gmail inbox. Integrations, uh, so Dubsado connects to all these different software. So for conferencing, I have it connected to my Zoom account. Zapier allows you to connect Dubsado to other software that aren't listed over here. So um, for instance, if you're using an email automation software to send out newsletters, you can connect Zapier and Dubsado that, um, you can collect, connect your email automation software with Dubsado using Zapier kind of as a middleman. Um, so for instance, if you want someone who fills out your lead generation form on your website to be added to your newsletter, you can do that using Zapier. Um, it connects to QuickBooks for those who use QuickBooks or Xero as well. So for domain names, uh, what you're going to do here is you're basically adding your domain to the Dubsado like forms and portal and all these different things so that it doesn't show up as Dubsado in the domain name. It's showing up as your domain name. So this is done at like your domain, uh, like whoever you have your domain with, this change would be done there. So if you're using GoDaddy, for instance, for your do domain, you'd go into the DNS settings of, of GoDaddy and you would add a CNAME record. Um, this is something that I can go into more detail on a separate video, but um, basically my, my forms show up with my domain name in them and it doesn't say Dubsado at all. That's what's going on here. So the next tab over here on the left-hand side is projects. Here, you're gonna see every project you have for all of your clients. And what you can do to customize over here, you see this button, customize, you can change kind of how it's displayed or what stages of a project you wanna track. So let's say I wanted to do discovery call booked, like that's a stage that matters in my client process. So I'm gonna add that there. Um, I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to say proposal sent because, uh, again, that's a stage that matters. I've talked to them. I've sent them a proposal. If they sign or if they agree to the proposal, they become a client and then I would put them under jobs. But this is another stage of the lead generation process that I want to track. So you can do the same for jobs as well. So let's say um, you're waiting for payments or you're waiting for them to send the content that you need for them to work with them. Um, like your web designer, you're waiting for them to send you their copy, their photos, whatever it is. Um, then you're like at the offboarding stage or you're waiting for approval on their end. You can track all of these different stages using the project status. So now when I go to projects, I have these over here. So if I wanted to see only the clients, I just click there. I obviously, I don't have anyone set up right now, but so this person is just general, it's under jobs. If I added a status, I could put them under that status over here. And so that way you can easily see where your clients are in the different stages of your process. So the next, I'm gonna skip over some of these just to keep this a little bit short. Calendar, um, basically if you connect your calendar, you just go over here under calendar settings and this, yeah, so I can link my personal calendar over here. Um, video conferencing, it's under settings. Remember uh, integrations, you can add Zoom over there. Um, and basically what you can do is have your, your calendar, all the items in your calendar, all the activities show up in the Dubsado calendar. 
tasks. Again, it's depending on the project, you, you can assign tasks inside of your project. Um, those would show up over here under utilities is your address book. So basically everyone that's going uh, leads or clients, they'll all show up there. The biggest thing really is the template portion. This is where you can really customize Dubsado and this is where the bulk of the work to set Dubsado up is going to happen. So in schedulers over here, basically you can set up a discovery call basically or a strategy session, whatever type of meetings that you have, you can set them up here. And the beauty of adding them inside of Dubsado and not elsewhere is that they can connect to your workflows. Um, if you, you're using Acuity or Calendly, that connection can't happen as easily, or it, for in some cases, it won't happen. If you want to say, like, if they booked a call, do this. If they didn't book a call, do this. Like, those sort of things can't happen if you're using schedulers outside of Dubsado. Forms here basically are all the forms that you're going to use inside of Dubsado. So contracts, it's basically it's straightforward sub agreements like if you need them to sign off on a print on something else you can add the secondary type of contract called the sub agreement questionnaires that's pretty straightforward again um, and you can make multiple so you can keep adding there's a really good template library so you can go through and see you know is there something in my niche and it'll tell you you can see this is for family photography there's stuff for doulas, for event planners, all of that. Um, proposals are basically, they help your clients choose a package so they can select from your different offers. And then based on what they select, it'll generate an invoice. And you can automate um, going from proposal, let's say they chose their package, then they can be taken directly to a contract and an invoice all kind of like a three in one form and that's part of the setup of the proposals and then lead captures um, are basically um, forms that people fill out when they're thinking about working with you so these can be combined with the scheduler so let's say you have a discovery call um, they can go through and choose a date and then you can connect that scheduler to a form so you can ask them all the different things that you want to ask them before they get on a call with you. Um, canned emails are all the emails here you add. Yeah, you add all the different emails that you could possibly use with your clients. Um, those emails that you're always sending out over and over and over, you can just create a template and personalize them. So it says uh, like, hey, client first name. So these are smart fields. So you can use those so that your client's name is automatically added to the email so it doesn't sound so generic. And you can add other smart fields related to the client's project. Um, so you can see here that Dubsado already has a number of canned emails. Um, I'm a big fan of personalizing them and making them sound more like you and customizing them so that they work better for your business. But these are all here. And then you can also add your signature. So if you wanted to add your logo, your you know, social media icons or links to your social media, um, you wanted to add a link to your website, your phone number, all of that can be added here inside of the signature. And then packages are basically all the different services that you provide. So you can set those up. You can still also do custom packages. There is a way to do that. But if there's something that you're offering over and over again and the pricing isn't changing and what you're offering your clients isn't changing, this is a great way to use. Um, this is a great way to save time, basically. Um, and even for custom packages, if you have something that you use, you can take that as a template and kind of tweak it so you can create a custom package um, based of that, based on that. And workflows, this is one of my favorite things in Dubsado. This is where you can, you know, trigger one action after the other. If the client signs a contract, you know, fire off an email and you can fire off the welcome email and attach a form to it and so on and so forth. When the client, you know, pays the 
the second invoice, let's say out of four, that means that this email needs to go off with this form. So it's really amazing. Um, this is a great way to save time if you're always doing the same thing over and over with your clients so that you can automate it as much as possible and have it all happen you know, in the background. So it's a lot more hands off. And then payment plans are basically how do you structure payment for your clients? So is it uh, three payments? Is it pay in full? Is it 50 50? You can create your own and you can trigger um, basically here. Let me open it. You can you can say I want this payment to happen 10 days before the project start date, for instance, like this is the retainer payment or you can have it happen after they sign the contract or after the project start date, like depending on what the client process is that you go through, you can structure this to work best for you. So I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial so you could understand the basic features of Dubsado and if it's right for your business. And if you're ready to sign up, you can use my affiliate link below to save 30% off your first month or year with Dubsado. And if you need more support setting up Dubsado to be right for your business, you can contact me also at the link below and book a free discovery call just so that we can better understand your needs and see if we're a good fit to work together.